Colleague Chairman of the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change and also uh, Director General of the Energy and Resources Institute, which is a not-for-profit research institute headquartered in New Delhi, but we have a presence in several parts of the world, including North America, Europe, Japan, uh, Southeast Asia, and the Middle East. And very soon, we hope to be in Africa as well. Um, well, I'm uh, very happy to uh, give you my views uh, on the Davos question. I personally think that uh, we're at a critical juncture where we could address the twin challenges of meeting the energy needs of a growing population and also try to address the problem of climate change by ensuring that we mitigate the emissions of greenhouse gases. Uh, in the years ahead. And what I'd like to focus on is the very severe and large problem that poor people around the world are facing. You know, there are well over a billion people on this planet who have no access to uh, modern forms of energy. And therefore, a number of them don't even know <clears throat> how to get lighting once the sun goes down. Some of them are able to burn a candle, some are able to uh, use a little lamp using kerosene oil or other forms of oil, but quite apart from the fact that those are polluting options, uh, they're certainly not satisfactory, and often they turn out to be very expensive as well. So what my institute has come up with is a set of devices which include solar lanterns. These are photovoltaic-based uh, lanterns, as well as solar torches or flashlights, if you want to call them that. And these use LED lighting systems. Um, the benefit of using these is that uh, there are no running costs because it's solar energy which gives you uh, the lighting that one needs. And what we're trying to do is to promote these on a large scale through a program that I call, call Lighting a Billion Lives. Uh, the effort is to see that corporates, governments, foundations around the world start um, looking at um, this option and providing resources by which uh, poor people around the world can get light into their lives. This would make such a difference to them because not only would they be able to uh, not only would they be able to um, get lighting for their own daily uses but think of the benefits that young children might get. They might actually be able to prepare their lessons, they might be able to read something in in several parts of the world. There's also a major challenge of adult literacy. Uh, elderly people who work during the daytime can spend at least a little bit of time in the evening trying to get literate. So uh, <clears throat> essentially this is a highly viable technology. Just to give you an example, a solar torch uh, costs no more than ten dollars uh, or less than eight euros and a solar lantern costs uh, the equivalent of about seventy dollars uh, and with this uh, set of devices uh, you can really take care of the needs of the whole world having said so we need an institutional arrangement because every village where you need to disseminate this particular technology would have to have a local representative, someone who can carry out very minor repairs, not that repairs are required with this technology, and can also act as the source for marketing these devices. So there is need to create a market-based local institutional infrastructure. Um, now what I would submit is that anyone who wants information on this can get in touch on uh, the website of my institute, which is the Energy and Resources Institute. Uh, the website address is terin dot org, terin dot org, and you can get all the information you require on this particular set of options. And we're hoping that if we are fortunate, if we have the kind of dedication that one is looking for, that in the next three or four years, we might be able to cover the entire planet and provide those who have no means for modern lighting systems to get, 
get access to these technologies and to literally light up a billion lives. So this is what I wanted to share with you and I hope we can make a major beginning in this year because this would not only address the critical need for energy as far as the poorest people in the world are concerned but also find a suitable solution for mitigating the emissions of greenhouse gases or potential emissions of greenhouse gases in the future. Thank you.